Hello everyone and welcome to the Power Nine Podcast, the number one MTG podcast from Singapore. Uh, my name is Mick. I'm one of your hosts, and today we have two special guests returning for the umpteen time. Actually, we love I I love having you here. Edwin's not here today, so to replace Edwin, I need two people because Edwin is just that much, you know, that much more than well the two of you. Nonsense. Edwin doesn't Nonsense. Talk. Yeah, yeah, what are you talking about? Uh, here we have the law master, Mikhail Lim. Uh, welcome back Hi, to the show. I'm back. Uh, and we also have Gaius Revenge. Gaius oh, Revenge. Gaius Hello. Revenge. I'm back. Why, you don't like it? Gaius Revenge because it's Gaius. Because it's Gaius. Gaius. Yeah. my name to ever seen. Yeah. Never seen. Never, never seen. seen. You're not going to open her, man. Not at all. Yeah. Boy, please. Not a single chance. Innistra. She's still in the hell vault for you. And we are, we are like mine. pre... Uh, what's that? We are omen... Uh, pre... Foreshadowing. Yeah, foreshadowing, foreshadowing. The, the rest of the show. Uh, with Innistra. And the reason why the two of you are here is because we love Innistra so much. The three of us. Actually, Edwin also likes Innistra. But unfortunately, this week, uh, he's tied down with life commitments. It's okay. He'll be back soon, I hope. Please don't leave. I'm so lonely. Uh, all right. So, yeah, if you made it this far, you're listening to the Power9 Podcast. Uh, you can find new episodes of the Power9 Podcast on our website, power9podcast.com. Uh, you can find us on mtgcast.com and on iTunes. And if you're on iTunes, please, you know, rate, subscribe, um, like, share, do all those in that order. By the way, uh, you can find us on you can find us on Facebook 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 dot com slash Power Nine Podcast. You can also find us on Instagram Instagram at Power Nine Podcast. Uh, you can now find us on YouTube. I'm I'm trying to backlog some uh video some of the older episodes uh and put it in a playlist. So if you only listen to podcasts on YouTube, you'll find us there. Uh, power youtube.com and then just search power nine podcast and then you can find us on twitter at power nine podcast the nine is a number nine so we start off the show uh you know as always we'll start off with this segment my week in magic so what do you guys do in magic this week nothing i didn't play i didn't get no what do you guys do in magic so I I had a I, we had a our own sealed event sealed, just yeah. two of us of course the, the Wake Wake Master and the Gaia's Revenge <laughs> was yep. a grudge match as usual we always have grudge matches six packs so for me I have one question for you guys what, what? do you get when you burn a group of dense bushes firelit ticket come on yes. oh, come on man yes finally firelit ticket. Finally, yeah, you have joined. You have joined the club, <laughs> like everybody else in the play group. Yes, has opened an expedition, and you finally, within the last four weeks of uh, uh, of this set. Yep. Like we are, we're probably gonna stop opening BFZ. Uh, Actually, both, I like, want to, yeah. yeah, or off, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or BFZ. Like that's the only chance you're gonna get an expedition, unless of course they introduce new uh, treasures, treasures in. Uh, oh man! But yeah, finally. Welcome to the club. Handshake, handshake. Very good. Thanks, man. Magical handshake. I'm not gonna yeah. shake your hand. President, actually. I'm yeah. finally ticket. You get it. I, I think I'm the president <laughs> of the club, right? Like the the pre-release itself, the first pack, <laughs> first pack out of the box. I opened the uh, uh, Godless Shrine. So yeah. Uh, my yeah. first prize pack. I actually lost everything in that round, so I was the first person to take my pack from the box. <laughs> and you got the <laughs> Misty Rain Forest. Yeah, nice. That's nice. right, people. So finally, finally yeah. ticket. And then yeah. I got Steam Vents after that. Is there anybody in our play group that hasn't had that doesn't have a expedition right now? One nope. week, one week ago, I would say Wei Kiong, right? Yeah, but now, but yeah, yeah, he's a lucky bugger. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, bad. we won't eject you from yeah, the play nah, group. Yeah, it's fine. You can stay with us. Stay nice. We were, yeah, we were considering, we were considering like ejecting you because you don't have the expedition. So, uh, so yeah, what do you guys? Uh, so who won in the end? I won. I, I trashed him upside down. I believe nope. he was 4 1. <laughs> yeah, one what were you playing? So, what did you I get the bill? We were playing suit. Unimaginably strong. Mm. White colors. Uh, white, black, and red. No red. Uh, no red. So greedy. Right, black, 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 black. No, it's three colors. Is it? 
white black and blue white black and blue yeah, yeah so and blue greedy and so so greedy ah two colors were enough two colors so is I enough mean, black and white black and white allies is enough yeah. I lost because I just want to put Fiery ticket inside my yeah I kill you yeah, with money he kill you with money ass. so like money. we give him an alternate wing con if you drop Fiery ticket before the game ends he wins still didn't win <laughs> <laughs> Well, I was I was quite busy this week. I got to play. I got to play like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, all three nights. So I drafted a bit. Uh, you know, I was drafting. So my first pack was a white rare, and I decided to go with the Bell of Now. Uh, it's the one six mana, f- six mana four five. When it enters the battlefield, you return up to two creatures from your graveyard to your hand. Uh, so that was you know. So instead of going white, I went black and green. My last pack was a Gideon. So I was oh. just, you know, I was just stomping and oh, crying man. like, why? I was, I won. Of, as in like, I I won by pulling out the Gideon, but then I was like, why? Oh. I could have been white. Nobody else was playing white. Um, and we got to play on Tuesday. Uh, oh, I got to play Seal on Tuesday. And that was amazing because somebody's Seal pool was two, not one, but two reality smashers. Oh my god! And and a mystic gate. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, brother. Did he pass the pool to you? Uh, no, of course not. Like not. we, yeah, you open, you keep what you pick. Ah. Uh, and yeah, he was he was a winner. A winner is you. Uh, so smash is oh, made well. the victory, right? Uh, yeah, I played against him the first round. Like we stalled all the way to like uh, turns, and then I lost. That sucks. Uh and yeah, I got to play some modern on Wednesday. Still rocking that blue white vile deck. Uh, I've changed out some remands for uh detention sphere. Really, pretty good. Very good. Detention sphere is solid. I took out the snapcaster mages, uh, and put in detention spheres, in uh in place of it. Hmm. Solid. Pretty good. Uh, so yeah, that was. I guess that's we. That's. My week in magic. And here we are on Thursday night. We're recording this episode early because... Because. Uh, and yeah, we, we want to talk a lot about Inistrad. Inistrad yep. today. Actually, Inistrad was the first time when I... I left magic 10 years ago. Then I came back during the Inistrad season. And Welcome back! Welcome back! back. 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 Again. Hey, when, did you, when did you come back? I, I never left. It was just like trickle on and off for a long period of time no but there was one period where you you started again like really uh you know more more into it i was really more into it when i met wee kyung actually is it no i thought we okay actually i started when in in during the initial season because yeah, i yeah. met i met uh iwe and then and then yeah iwe iwe when did i meet iwe kyung i think it's after that should be after the initial season which set was that should we remember? return to Ravnica? Then we started playing at the 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 the, the what's that called? Funko, Funko game. Funko game. That's huh. when you started playing a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was yeah, a return okay. to. No, Ravnica. but you were. I mean, yeah. you were buying like packs. Yeah, well, I was playing stuff. stuff like. uh, I mean, yeah. random events, usually pre-releases. I like I like playing you. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I think so. that was the time when you were really like into back into magic quite yeah. a lot. Yeah. yeah, more often, more often than before. Yeah. So it's it, uh, it feels very um uh. It feels good because I started again when uh, Zendika came back oh. uh, right at the end like uh, World Wake and Rise of the Eldrazi so that's when I started playing again and then now uh, Innistrad mm. is here it's yes. because that's when you started playing again yes. so maybe next is Ravnica no we just yep. went back to Ravnica <laughs> too bad return to the return of the Ravnica alright so let's start off the uh, topic of the week which is all about Innistrad uh, I like the I like the show notes. I put the title there: Innistrad over, uh, Innistrad all over this. Book. Uh, I didn't read that. Out. Um, so, uh, what are we going? Okay, so first things first: the packaging. The packaging, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Uh, pretty nice. Pretty pretty nice. The the pre-release box. So first thing on the page is the pre-release box. It's Tamio's. Is that Tamio's tome or journal? Is that Tamio's journal? Tamio's journal, I believe, it's the one. Yeah, it it looks. <coughs> uh, it's very blue. I I won't be surprised if you open the flap on the mm-hmm. top, and it opens up like a book, because that's what it looks like. And it looks pretty cool. I uh, 
you know. Uh, the pre-release sleeve, the sleeve of the box has a dark Jace. Jace looks kind of different now. He looks more like a action hero. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to call out a Tom Cruise type of look, don't you think? Like that face. Looks Are you more having like problems? Dark, dark Jace, I don't know. Looks very... Dark Jace. Yeah. Very black. Quack, quack, quack. Uh, <laughs> hey, come on. Actually, I was hoping the pre-release box, right, the, the material will be better. I don't know whether it's still make off. Maybe the, the pre-release material uh, will be leather because yeah. of the leather-bound book. No, if it's leather, then we are going to pay more. But actually, if you look, at, okay. the, uh, if you look at the blue color box further on down, um, mm-hmm. it looks like the commander boxes that we have got so far. Looks to be the same material, actually. Which one? Um, yeah, that one. That one that we can showing. Yeah, 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 exactly. That's what I'm the talking about. I the commander box we got. No, I don't. I don't covered. think so. It will be the same. It will be the same as the plastic cardboard. No, cardboard. it will be the same as the BFZ, uh, BFZ boxes. But, yeah, I think yeah. it's that one. It should be. I well, who knows? Uh, but I hope it's nice. You know, um, I can see. You know, it's fat enough to for you to fit like two sets of um, packs. Mm-hmm. So left and right. So One, five, that's maybe? why that's why I'm hoping that when you flip it open. Like when you pull off the top, like it flips downwards with, uh, you know, like a book. Anyway, uh, there's five different uh, images on the booster packs. Mm. The first one is a zombie. Uh, no, it's a vampire. Vampy. Uh, second one is, uh, what's the name? Uh, Arno, Arno Kalin, uh, the werewolf, the legendary werewolf planeswalker. There's, oh yeah, the, there's, there's a, a new there's a new Yeah, there's, there's a new werewolf planeswalker. Oh man, I'm you haven't that. been listening to the podcast, have you? You got, no, you got no, we you just got released me. the episode yesterday, so you no, you haven't been listening there's to the podcast. Planeswalker for sure. werewolf. <laughs> there's a planeswalker werewolf. Uh the third image is Everson. Yes. Uh Everson, Everson pissed off. Uh the <laughs> fourth image is Sorin. Sorin. Is he is he coming back as a planeswalker? Yes, yes he is. He's of a course he has. Of course he has to come back. As so a this set have three, right? At least uh, usually no. Three. Maybe Jace will be like the 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 mystery. No, okay. Jace okay. will be there. Jace, Sorin, Sorin, and then the the werewolf and werewolf. Kalin. Uh, yeah. yes, Kalin, Kalin, Kalin Akot. Uh, what's her name? And finally, you know this guy, Jace, Dark Jace. He looks like Tom Cruise. I'm going to call him Jace Cruise. Jace Cruise? Yeah. Sounds good. J. Cruise. J. Cruise. Uh, which Treasure is a, Cruise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he looks... Really, look at him. He looks like Tom... No, he looks like a mix of Tom Cruise and like some other actor that I'm trying to pull at. I can't remember what's his name. Um, um, this, you, know, you know the fat pack one? That, that's Jace as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, right? yeah. He looks like <clears throat> that villain from uh, Mortal Instruments. Mortal the, Instruments? Yeah. No, I didn't watch that movie. Uh, they had, they had, the villain was the protagonist's father. And he had that wild, savage, fight with a sword, messy hair, kind of look a bit Asian. If Pop, you look at you look at this uh, popped collar, yeah, pop collar as well. <laughs> yeah, really, I really like reminds it. me of that. He looks handsome. So Just shout like out me. to Mortal yes. Instruments. Oh yeah, what is this Mortal Instruments? If not, if not red, the like twelve oh, book series. Oh, yeah, 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 really so good movie, I must say. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now you've got me. Yeah. Now you've got me. Kind of interested. I might go. I might go watch it. It's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, so the fat pack box <coughs> and the deck builders. Oh, we're gonna get a deck builders toolkit. Uh, every set usually set. they have deck builders toolkit. Well, they didn't have it for BFZ. But yeah, I know. But Origin have Origin. Origins, 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 Origins. Okay, so but Origins had yeah, it. Yeah, that's because mm. we're not having any more of our the uh, three core, core sets anymore. Yeah. Mm. So I guess now you have to take over the role. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, and the deck box is, of course, displaying uh, Jace with the pop collar. Who is that image behind Jace? Ooh. Ooh. Looks like Ben Chi. Ben is Yu. That, okay, so, <laughs> you know, call me crazy, but that's the image from Besiege the Queen, right? No. Right. Besiege the Queen? Well, besiege the queen. Like the, the card art is uh, the queen, queen fae. Una is standing there, and then like all the clouds around her, and then you are like calling upon Una to please give me the card that I want. Please give me the card that will win me the game, right? I guess, but right? Una doesn't look crazy. anything like this. Although I do have to admit that the uh, team of it looks. looks it, it could be a tutor. Like it could be a tutor as well. Bitter blossom reprint. <laughs> 
Oh. Oh, yeah. But they just did it in Modern Masters. Uh, who cares? Probably not, right? Unless they yeah, no, you're going to reprint, like, you reprint Bitter Blossom, <laughs> like, it's still going to be that price. Yeah. It's gonna, still going to be expensive. Can you imagine Bitter Blossom in standard? Yes, I can. I will use it. But fairies ain't a thing on Innistra. Uh, it's the wrong world for this. They might... How about this? We switch out zombies for fairies. Oh come on! You want exactly, what? Exactly. No, but there's yeah, there's a lot of no zombies way, already. no way. There's zombies already. Everyone yeah, when zombies. What's he? When are we gonna get zombies back again? Please, uh, no, not zombies. Sorry, when are we fairies, gonna get fairies, fairies back again? Please, uh, please, please. They did somewhere. a little flash to uh, yeah, that one, that one, one mana flash to to they, fairy. They, they, a little yeah, that's go about back it. to they went back to it a bit, right? When uh, who trans uh, which planeswalker spark was transformed and he went to. Morning time. Oh, it was uh, Nisa. Uh, Nisa. 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 When she transformed, she went to um, Lawin. Yeah. She met. She met Dinan, she, right? Yeah, yeah. That, that's the realm with fairies. Yeah, but they didn't have that many fairies. Like Origins had. Uh, Origins had no fairies. In fact, I don't think so. Yeah. I don't well, not of, not of any note. <coughs> anyway, uh, so we have that whole um, you know. We have that whole ray, array of uh, Innistrad, Shadows over Innistrad, paraphernalia products and stuff like. Uh, what do you guys think? I think the art's cool. I think Jace is way too prominent. Uh, I think Jace is going to be bad this set. <laughs> Just saying. Jace, be Jace is bad? Nah, he's not. It's going to be another memory adept. Nah, he, oh, you, oh, you mean bad as in like, like terrible? Like, yeah, terrible right. kind of like seven mana Jace. Uh, like how oh. they're doing with Chandra, but then Chandra, uh, Chandra flame caller is freaking awesome. So She's six mana though. It's a bit late. We have a six mana Jace, right? No, we have a five no. mana Jace. We don't have yeah, five, five mana Jace. Jace. We have a three mana Jace. We have multiple four mana Jaces. We have two five mana Jaces and we have a two mana Jace. So it's time for six mana J's with uh, three colors and uh, no. three colors. Twenty abilities. <laughs> starts off with uh, you know. You win the game. Yeah, starts off with five counters, five uh, loyalty counters. We count uh, once a uh, Grixis J's. Oh yeah, Grixis oh, J's would be amazing. Uh, one blue, be... one red, one black comes in with six counters on it. Are you slowly wait? Do you guys think that he'll turn, like he's going to add another color like black? No, I, I seriously doubt it actually. Yeah, I, he's I don't think pure, the Planeswalkers like, are going to change color. The color changes will come from all your angels, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of angels. Oh, angels. my favorite. That's why I'm here. Oh, brother. <laughs> uh, well, we do, do we want to do the spoilers right now? Uh, no, there's another, there's another article on uh, the WotC website uh, and we've been trolling through uh, gaze blank and pitiless uh, and it's got a lot of pictures I don't really care about the words because uh, words uh, but there's a lot of pictures a lot of art of angels was, we start off the top of the page with ever seen angel of hope and yes Edwin you are right she's always wearing black <laughs> uh, and then we have archangel ever seen uh, we scroll all the way down and we see another angel and who might this be? Um, there's an there's an angel uh, with that looks like Bruna. Is that yeah, Bruna? Yeah, I think it's Bruna with blood soaked As, yeah, uh, cloth, blood soaked wings, wings and, and her and her dress, her, her yeah. skirt. Thing Maybe it's a jazz guy Bruna, black. Uh, no, a uh, red, just white, guy, and blue. Yeah. Jeskai Bruna. Yeah, it looks like she could be Jeskai. The color schemes look. Right Man, she looks cray cray. She looks like Storm, uh, except mm. white. Except like white the Haley Berry, <laughs> Haley Berry Storm, except <laughs> white, uh, with wings. So it's like a. So if the, like Haley Berry and Michael Jackson had a kid. No, Haley Berry and uh, <laughs> Angel had a kid. Will probably turn out like that. Like that, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, pretty cool. Nice, nice. It's She's got abs. How the uh, the uh, her staff, right? Uh-huh. The, the hedron itself. Uh, the heron, sorry, not hedron. Too excited with Zendika. So the hedron gets a bit skewed, right? Um, you get yep. one side coming out straight and one yeah, side like remaining curved. Yeah. Uh, curved. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's got the Avacyn, it's got the Shadows over Innistrad uh, logo on it. So, cool. Mm. Uh, we move further down the page. There's a very familiar angel and I believe this is... Sigada. 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 Sigada very unsettling of, gaze. Sigada of the Exorcist movie. She's got the she's got the 
burning eyes, oh. white burning eyes. Yes. Uh, and we know this is Sigara because of the armor and the staff of Herons. And she's also in the same pose, the exact same pose. Is she in the same yeah, pose? I believe she's in the exact same pose. Oh, nice. Yes, yes, that's right. Yeah, she hasn't moved at all since then. <laughs> <laughs> she just like just stays there yeah, and the then, entire time. Even after she, oh, I'm changing. Okay, I got to maintain this for the camera. What color? What color do you think Sigala is going to be? Yeah, we didn't say like what yep. color do you think Bruna's going to be? You guys said just sky, right? Yeah, yeah just sky. Uh, I think it's going to be blue and it's still going to be blue and white. It's just that she's got like some crazy ability right now. Transformation, you think? No, I don't think. It, I don't think it should transform. Although, uh, it'll probably be, uh. Aura related, maybe? I don't know. It wouldn't yes. seem that, you know, you see Avacyn transforming, showing mm -hmm. that she's different. Yep. Won't they run the same thing for the angels? Mm. So maybe so you might get three add one additional color. Uh, additional uh, color. Additional color. Transform. You might lose your white color as well because like, Avacyn lost her white when she transformed. Yeah. So it's possible that uh, Bruna will lose the white and become black, blue, blue, red. Black, red. Example. Or black, red. Yep. Black, red. Yeah. Okay. I, I, want black a, blue. I want a black, red in general. But, um, black, I feel green, from ranger. the art that it's going to be a uh, blue, red. Yeah, because probably. lightning, right? Lightning is or white red, red or uh, white red would probably be you know it, she might have. Uh, it would be nice if she has the lightning helix ability, just like uh, Fire Main Angel. Yeah, yeah, yeah that would be nice. Uh, so Sigada, Sigada of the crazy eyes. Uh, what color? Black, black and green. Black and green. Black I and think. green. Yeah. Okay. Probably lose that white, become green. Maybe it's a yeah. white green or. Okay, so, so the possibility can either be white green then change to green black after yeah. transform, or maybe straight straight away is uh two other different colors. Really. Mm. Yeah, mm. that'll yeah. be or, that'll be quite interesting. Yeah, or, uh, or she could be Abzan. <gasps> oh man, Abzan. do you know what this means? What? Then we can have four colored EDH decks. Oh yeah, true. Because on one side it's like let's true. say you oh. know yeah. she's black red, and then on the other side she is Another white two more uh, white green. So we can have four color EDH decks. They solved it, people. They solved it. Woo! Yeah. Good no job, Watsi. No Nephilim problem. We get a real angel instead of Nephilims, right? Yeah. Right, that makes my favorite. Sense. Good job, Watsi. We yeah. can start playing Nephilims now without having to play a Wooburg deck. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, okay. So if you guys scroll down, right? After the, uh, the Bruna. Oh, this is the original Bruna. Okay. So, yep. Oh, yeah, that's the original Bruna. So yeah, you were saying her stuff, like it's a little twisted. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Yep, so I was saying, uh, if you guys like, scroll down the original Bruna, and then you scroll down again, that's uh, Gisela, right? The original Gisela. Yep. Then you yeah. scroll down again. I got feeling that picture, right, is the new Gisela. Because they won't, they won't like, ignore her, right? There'll be, like, three angels together in this set. Angel of Despair. Or s something else. So, uh, the armor is not the same. The, the face is well, not the same. A, okay, wait, wait, Come wait. on, if you look at everything, it could be, it could right, be right. the face. Let's look at the armor. Okay, so Gisela has... This like flowy capy thingy with uh you know she's she, her armor is like a uh male no her plate armor it's not gold in color it's uh silver silver white and red yeah right, uh nice. and her you know her loin cloth is a giant Avacyn symbol uh and in this case it doesn't have the you know it doesn't have the loin cloth this might be angel Probably. of despair how about that yeah I think it's angel okay. of despair black and white. Like it's got yeah, the same one, yes, the like, feel. It's got the same feel as it and the original Angel of Despair also has gold color armor. Mm, and yes. black color, you know, black color trimmings or black color um uh what you call it? Was Angel uh, of Despair from this set? Uh no. no, Angel of Despair was from long, long time ago. I forget what which set Angel it was. Of do they destroy uh, destroy yeah, target the permanent. Destroy target oh. permanent. Six oh, mana. I seven. Only seen it in the seven, seven. form, you know. The EDH form. Yeah. You have not seen my final form. Ah. Speaking of, but final I don't think they will just ignore Gisela just like that. No, no. I mean, definitely no, they not. Won't. This art. Yeah, they so won't ignore her, but I just think it's not spoiled yet. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, there's the other angel at the uh at the you know close you know oh, scrolling oh, down. Oh, yep. There's another angel. Uh, that's ever seen, but that is not. Uh, Are you sure this is Avacyn? Are you talking about this one? Yeah, yeah, I'm talking that about right? that one. That's that's in the spirit of Avacyn, but that's not Avacyn herself, right? What do you mean by spirit of Avacyn? Uh, it could be a oh, mean, no, no, mean there was, she dresses similarly? No, it was spoiled already. Uh -huh. This card was spoiled already. Let me oh, is take it? a look. Yep. Uh, no, not Flame Blade, Angel. This is like a half angel, half demon. Look, that really demonic looking hair <laughs> right there. <laughs> 
Okay, no, no, it hasn't been spoiled yet. Yeah. So, all right, whatever. Uh, looks like Everseen though. It's probably not Everseen because nah, it's not. Everseen has a different art. Maybe it's an instant or a sorcery or who knows what. Maybe it's Gisela. Maybe it's Entreat the Angels. I uh, think it's a black version of Entreat the Angels. Yeah, it could be. So what? It's a Retreat, retreat the Angels. Um, <laughs> demonize the Angels. <laughs> Uh, so we scroll down and then yeah we have ever seen the purifier or what I like to call that time of the month um, looking quite badass I love that she, her hair is white and then at the end of it is red uh, it's so cool her wings are her wings are pure white and at the ends of it is like red with blood blood, blood. Oh, so nice. So pretty. I want a foil of this, man. Yes. I want yes. a foil uh, of this flip card so, yes. so bad. Yes. yes. Like, I don't care how much it is, guys. I'm outbidding you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'll buy first. No, uh, I will open during pre release. You and, wish. And you, you wish. wish. I will. I'm going to open any start treasures, okay? <laughs> yeah. There are no treasures. The treasure is a lie. Um, and finally, the last picture, we have Fiery Temper. You can see Everson in the background chasing a guy on fire. How mad must you be to be chasing a guy on fire? <laughs> uh, so, yeah. And if you can see, look in the art, like there's a spindle wheel there. Very reminiscent of... Uh, Gavoni, uh, the Gavoni Club. Right? Yeah. Gavoni and uh, shit, yeah, uh, these uh, things. What's that? What's that tale? Sleeping Beauty? Yeah. Uh, yeah, where she... Beauty, yeah. Uh, if she touches a spindle on her 16th birthday, like she'll go Is it unconscious. a spindle? It just looks like... It looks like a wheel, wheel right? Like a carriage wheel. Oh, uh, what's that? What's that? Uh, the ghost ghost trapper rig. Ah, the ghost thing. ghost um, the guys 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 rig guys trapper uh, rig guys guys something zapper rig. rig. I don't know whatever uh, that you know yeah, you know yeah, what we're talking yeah, about yeah. It's the artifact. Okay, so let's move on from pictures to spoilers. actual mechanics. No, it's uh, not okay. spoilers. <laughs> we save the best for last. <laughs> Be patient. All right. All Be right. patient. Uh, all right. So we talk about the mechanics. Uh, I think we've mentioned it before, but uh, there's uh, the few mechanics in Shadows over Innistrad, the double face cards, the checklist cards, the um, uh, delirium, and uh, investigate, and clues, and madness. Uh, those are, and Skulk. Yeah, Skulk is the one I think we didn't, uh, we didn't really cover. Mm-hmm. Uh, so let's go from the top. I think the most important thing is the double face cards. So there's a few changes to yep. double face cards. If you haven't been playing at Origins, okay, so you have a daytime and nighttime card. Uh, you have a face up and face down. It's printed on both sides. Um, there's a daytime and then there's a, there's a nighttime. So there's a trigger for it to transform. When it transforms, it doesn't leave the battlefield. So for those of you who... Uh, are familiar with the morph, uh, morph mechanic? No, morph. No, yeah, uh, familiar with the morph mechanic. It's more like the morph mechanic versus, let's say, a Jace, uh, Jace Vrin's Prodigy or Liliana, Heretical Healer. So for those, let's say like Jace, right? When you tap it and you draw a card and you discard a card, yeah. like he flips, he exiles himself and then enters the battlefield flipped. Correct. So that's why the Planeswalker... You know, the Planeswalker version gets counters. However, these guys don't leave the battlefield. They just flip over. Uh, okay. Yeah. So the example they give here is Elusive Tormentor. So it's a 4 mana 4-4. Four, four, vampire Wizard. Not bad. Uh, he's got an ability. One generic. Discard a card. Transform Elusive Tormentor. And in his transform form, which is the night side, it's Insidious Mist, which is quite cool. Uh, it's got hexproof and indestructible. Insidious mist can't block and can't be blocked. Uh, when it attacks and isn't blocked, you may pay two generic and one black. If you do, transform it. So it goes back to a 4 4. Mick, you might want to explain a bit on, like, say, the elusive tormentor because I, I read this part on uh, they were saying that you can actually pay one mana then and discard another discard, card then discard. Yeah. Okay. Stack, you keep it. doing that yeah okay yeah. So, yeah. so maybe you can explain that for, yeah. on like finite terms alright yeah. so uh, previously previously uh, <laughs> we have different rules for double face cards but now the rules have been changed so I, I won't tell you what uh, I will tell you what it was before so now for flip cards there are three main changes the converted mana cost used to be 
zero for flip cards. So for the day side, it used to be the converted mana cost of the of the creature. When you flip it over, the converted mana cost goes to zero. So now it's going to retain its converted mana cost of the day side. So uh, when you flip over the in, uh, the insidious mist. Insidious Mist is going to have a four converted mana. mana cost of 4. Yes. Is it going to be black or blue? Uh, blue. It's going to be blue. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be blue. Uh, so if I control Insidious Mist, it has no mana cost, but its converted mana cost is 4. I see. Okay, but if I then put a copy of Insidious Mist onto the battlefield, that copy's converted mana cost is 0. zero. Because yeah. it has no it other has side. It has no mana cost, yes. And because it has no flip side. Yeah. Which is very sad because... Like now you have a zero one, um, that does nothing. Zero one that doesn't <laughs> that can't block. Uh, it has hexproof and it has uh, indestructible. Indestru- and it can't be blocked. But but what? So but what? It can't block. Right. So what? Why? <laughs> it doesn't participate in anything. Is it indestructible? Yes, it is. Holy smokes! Hexproof, indestructible, can't block, can't be blocked. That's hilarious. That is hilarious. Uh, okay. So the entering the battlefield transformed. So there are uh, a few effects that can put a card onto the battlefield transform, uh, and they haven't spoiled the card. So I'm I'm kind of you know uh, I'm really excited for these new cards that uh, that are coming in uh, you know coming in transform. Uh, one of the changes that are uh, that that's affecting this is uh, what happens to cards that can't really transform. So, for example, if you clone a Jace Vrin's Prodigy, okay, and then you activate it, so you your clone, uh, you know, air quotes, uh, activate you activate the ability of your clone, you draw a card, discard a card, and now you're supposed to exile. If you've got five or more in your graveyard, you are supposed to exile the Jace, and it will come back, transform as a Planeswalker. The new rule is that the old rule is that it exiles and then just comes back face face up. So if you have a clone, like it's just gonna you know it's gonna exile and then come back uh, as a clone, and you can clone something else. The new rule says that if it exiles and tries to return transform, but it can't, it's going to remain in exile. So that card draw better be bloody good. That you just lost your entire you know you just lost one creature. Because you wanted to loot. Mm. So sad. So, so sad. Yeah, actually, it's a good change to this rule, I feel. So, oh, you won't, you won't, you won't a good misuse, change? You won't misuse cards like uh, Clever Impersonator. Dude, can you imagine, like, you have a uh, Perforo? Uh, is it Perforos that gives all creatures haste? No, no it's the. Is that it? uh, uh, so, if you got something that gives all creatures haste, Urabrask. Uh, Urabrask. And then you have Jace Vrin's Prodigy, and you have uh, a clone. You, you can, can tap the clone, and you keep bounce it, enter back as Jace. Do oh, no, no. You need your opponent to have the Jace. Clever and Persona can copy anything. Yeah, but, you know, but it's going to copy the Jace and you got to sacrifice one of them. Yeah, your opponent needs to have the Jace. Is the yeah. sacrifice a state-based effect? Yes, it's a state-based effect. You can't effect. respond to that. Nope. Done. Wah, 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 wah. Uh, okay, so... Uh, right. That's what happens. Uh, the last one is no flippy flippy, no flippy floppy. Uh, here's a new rule. If a, di- if a dual face card has an activator or trigger ability that transforms it, that permanent transforms only if it hasn't since, uh, if it hasn't since that ability was put on the stack. So what does this mean? So I'm going to go back to the elusive tormentor. Oh, I see. So you can't flip it floppy. Yeah, you can't flip it like twice. So you can't go, I'm going to pay one, discard a card, transform elusive tormentor. And then on, on the stack, the stack I'm pay. going to pay another one and discard a card and transform elusive tormentor. Uh, so it'll go into the insidious miss and then pop back. it'll stay pop back as yeah. uh, uh, no. elusive tormentor. Okay. No. Nope. This yep. time you do it once, you do it twice, you do it three times. It's gonna just transform once, uh, and it stays as insidious mist. I see. So yep. no cheating, guys. No yeah. cheating. No cheat. No cheating. I'm looking at you, bro. Mm. Hey. No swiping. <laughs> Swiper, Swiper. No swiping. No swiping. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> we just we just quote Dora right here. Yeah. All right. I can't believe us. 
Uh, okay, so we've also got checklist cards, and uh, it looks like there's going to be a lot. Two, two uh, checklist cards. Two checklist two, cards. Yeah, I just read. So goodness. The first, the one of them will be for common and uncommon, and then uh-huh. another one for rest and mythic rest. All right. So yeah. for rest, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, uh, nine rest and mythic rest. There's an orange colored one which I suspect is uh, Alin Court. Uh, she'll be probably green and red. Wait, this is the uh, rare one, right? Uh, oh, yeah, these are rare. Oh, okay. These are rares. Okay, so there are two double face cards. Uh, the other double face card it has, I believe, eighteen, uh, dual face cards. Uh, for you know, for in total. Yes, if you see here, then there's nine here. Then there should be another nine there. Yeah, just nice. So it should be eighteen. Eighteen or more. Who knows? Uh, but we great. That's good. Uh. What else do we want to go? So we've gone, we've gone through Delirium and we'll go through it in greater detail closer to the, uh, to the um, pre-release. Uh, but I do like some of the cards that are being spoiled here, like Reaper of the uh, Flight Moon Silver. You know, you can sacrifice another creature. It gets plus two, plus one until end of turn. Um, but for five mana, it's kind of costly. The Soul Swallower, though, that one's a little irritating. For four mana, you got a three three, and if you got delirium, uh, you get to put three plus one plus one counters on it. It's got trample, by the way, and so, it's all and it's uh at the beginning of your arcade trigger, so it's it will keep happening if you have that. Yes, yeah, it'll so keep going, yeah, it'll keep going and going and going. It's it's great, great. It feels like skewed mob. Uh, a bit, a bit, a bit. Very cute. Uh, there's a warped landscape. Another card that's uh been, that's been spoiled. Add colorless mana to your mana pool. I like that they're integrating this colorless symbol yes. everywhere. It's mm. cool. It's, it's good. good. Yeah, that's what they should do. Uh, and then you can pay two and tap it and sacrifice warped landscape. Search your library for a basic land card and put it onto the battlefield. Tap, then shuffle your library. What is this for, gentlemen? It's to give. Uh, your graveyard land, land Delirium as a, as a cut type Yeah there's no more Fetch yeah. lands yeah. Come on You can search out Wasteland from this If you want that Can you search out Waste? Waste. Can. Can. Yes, you can Yeah but this is Giving you colorless I mean, I mean just, just in case You know You, you just, just want this card In your graveyard Yeah to yeah. trigger the dairy yeah. bim. Anyway, effects. going back to that, the Reaper of Flight Moon Silver. Oh yeah, yeah. You notice like uh, angels have like a different names for their uh for their flight. Like Sigara was a host of herons, right? Yeah, yeah, Did yeah. Did her army have a name? Yes. Actually, uh, yeah. When you talk, Gisela was Blade of Gold Knight. Correct. So Gold Knight Commander. Gold Knight, oh, Commander. Gold Knight stuff, yeah. right? Yeah. So now this is Moon Silver. And which angel is this coming Bruna. from? Bruna. Because Bruna of the Flight Ale- Alabaster. Right? Alabaster is nothing in relation to Moon Silver, does it? No, it's white. white. Which color? Alabaster. Alabaster. Go, go Knight. Silver. Moon Silver. It could be Gold Knight. Who knows? <laughs> Nobody knows. No. So the Moon Silver could be a name. Should be a should, should be a, should be an inversion of yeah. Gold Knight actually. Gold Knight. Right. Oh yeah. That's Moon, right. Silver. Moon Silver. Go Knight. Hey, good one. Yeah. Hey, nice one. High five. Right, high five. Good one. Good one. Uh wait, so who was Go Knight again? Gisela. Gisela, oh, Gisela was right, 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 okay. Yeah. So this is one of Gisela's uh, goonies. I'm guessing the it feels a lot like Khans, where the dragons are like teaming up on the hu- on, the on the puny humans. humans yeah. And all the angels are like teaming up on the puny humans and the uh uh werewolves they have to fight back. For the humans, right? Angels versus werewolves. Oh, so where yeah. the zombies and the Cowboys oh, yeah. versus cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> and aliens and aliens and, aliens. and uh, I don't know there was, there was a game there was a uh, pirates versus uh, zombies zombie? versus ninjas versus uh, cats or something like that Just there was long... a movie cowboys versus aliens too yep. yeah. oh, that was a cute movie <laughs> was that Daniel Craig I can't remember uh, I'll go search it up uh, going down instead Investigate. Investigate includes. Uh, I think investigate might be a cool mechanic, but mm. mostly in terms I'm thinking of for um, EDH actually, because yeah. you pop artifact tokens free for free. It's so abusable. So right this there. Uh, the the card that is spoiled here is Thraben Inspector. When it enters the battlefield, investigate for one mana. You yeah. are getting a one two. We, yeah. Okay, so this is better than you know. It's it's better power than creep. The vanilla, yeah, the vanilla test. Yeah, yeah it's, it beats the vanilla test, and then you get 
a token, uh, you get a clue artifact. Uh, the next turn, if you have a land drop, you can draw a card. Like this guy is one mana, and one you two. Can draw a card on yeah, turn echo, two. Yeah, uh, echo. Yeah, and draw a card on turn two. What? What? And it's a common. Like people are gonna pick this up. This oh, is I'm better than. Putting this in. This is better than Doom Travel. No, okay, maybe nothing's. Uh, for a common, this is probably not better than Doom Travel. Almost but, yeah. there. Almost, Almost there. there. Yeah. Almost there. Pretty much. Pretty much. Uh, we've got Magnifying Glass. Um, I'm not too impressed with this because mm. it's three mana. It produces one mana to your one, one colorless, colorless mana. Yep. Uh, and you have to pay four generic mana just to investigate. So six mana just to draw. Uh, well, I mean, they, they did have that uh, similar card in the uh, B- OGW. It was a three mana artifact that produced one colorless mana as well. Yeah. Some kind of lantern. Yep. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Sears lantern. Sears and lantern. that allowed you to scry. scry. Two scry. Mana to yeah, scry. two mana to scry. No, I'd rather scry. Like, the drawing the cards not uh, relevant. I'm saving, four, I'm saving four mana so that I can scry. Mm. Two mana. You know? Yeah, the difference oh, the difference yeah. between oh yes. dude, the difference between drawing and scrying yeah. is four mana. No. No, it's yeah, just no, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And that was Sears Lantern was a common. So this no, it was common. Common, I think. Sears I common. No, Sears Lantern was a common. Okay. I was complaining about that because like I was running <laughs> okay, okay. a colorless deck on Tuesday. Yeah. Everybody else who was not running a colorless deck had Sears Lantern. And I was like, It's it's a bloody common. Why 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 right? Yeah. Yeah, but I opened up, uh, you know, I opened pretty well. So, <laughs> well, talking about opening up pretty well. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, stay out of the bushes, uh, right? Uh, uh, stay out of the bushes. Uh, They're on fire. What do you get when you burn a grow <laughs> dense bush? Uh, somebody who needs a emergency room. <laughs> uh, you are going to the land of bushes, kids, my friend. Yeah. Kids, you might want to go home right now. Uh, all right, madness is the next. Um, uh, ability or I got a key on this key. This is madness This is Innistrad No uh, This is Innistrad This may be relevant I like the note here This may be relevant With cards like Jace Vrin's Prodigy Bitch no please No kidding no. Really Really Never saw that coming Right Yeah crazy That's just Heresy. Literally crazy, right? Yeah. yeah. Madness. Uh, so madness is the one where you, if you discard the card, you can pay the madness cost, uh, exile it, and uh, dis- discard it into exile. So if you discard this card, discard it into exile, and you pay the madness cost, uh, uh, and then you put it into your graveyard, and then you cast the cast the card. It's crazy. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Does crazy things, just mad things, right? Uh, I like the fact that you can play creatures at instant, instant speed. speed. Oh. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You can suddenly just uh, flash out one blocker out of nowhere. And there are lovely cards like Ravenous Bloodseeker, where it's one red and one generic. It's a one three. Discard a card, it gains plus two minus two. There are so many discard outlets. It's crazy. Woo! I like, I like it a lot. Uh, oh, yeah. I got something to point out here. You see what? the art of Ravenous Bloodseeker. Uh-huh. Um, she's clinging onto the underside of some kind of anvil, like a very large anvil. Is that a right? You see, like this funny shaped thing. Mm, yeah. But if you look at the art, uh, I believe um, in the in the story there was mm-hmm. an altar that uh, ever since discovered a child about to be sacrificed on, and that altar had the same shape as this. Oh, so this I believe belongs to a cult. Uh, so maybe the yeah, the, the vampires. vampires are, mm. Worshipping demons. Nice. Oh. Nothing will cool the fire in their blood. They are too far gone. We must keep them away from our towns at any cost. Uh, says Cosper Lower of the Silver Guard. Guard. So my guess is that the uh, vampires are, are also uh, kidnapping people and like killing them. For and, the cult, right? They're summoning yeah. demons. Yeah, but uh, I get, maybe it's bringing upon the madness, which is why the angels are like so crazy right now. Yeah. Uh, the, my other guess is that the angels are like overzealous and they're like trying to protect the humans. Like they've gone crazy. Crazy. And, and they protect the humans by killing the humans. Crazy. That sounds like uh, iRobot to me. Right? Uh, is that? <laughs> yeah, iRobot was, was the... like, to save the world, we must destroy it kind of thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's cute. 
all right. So moving on to <laughs> moving on to the next uh, ability or the next keyword is skulk and um, creatures can't block. Uh, this creature can't be blocked by creatures with greater power, uh, and it looks like some um, you know some it looks like a zombie, but this is spirit. Yeah, it's a spirit. So it's a spirit of a zombie. So weird. Whoa, mind blown. And it's black. Yeah. It's a black spirit. It's an evil spirit. And evil. And E has lifeling. Spiteful uh, geists rise from the muck of the far box, eager to lure travelers to their doom. Yeah, I I, I think it's very interesting. I think it's going to be an interesting mechanic. Like, you could send this guy in and it not be blocked and you can pump it later. Yeah, yeah. Pump it. Pump it louder. And lifeling. Yeah. No joke. Uh, okay, so let's go to... Spoilers? Spoilers. Yes, finally. Finally. Spoilers. Uh, so we talked about all about the mechanics. We talked about some of the art and some speculation. Mm-hmm. But there's been spoilers over the last week. And we can't wait to talk about them. Uh, let's start with the first of the first. The official one. Let's talk about official ones, not the leaks. Brain in a jar. Brain in a jar. Uh, thoughts, people. Well, let's let's describe what <laughs> let's describe what yep, yep. it does. Two mana. It's an artifact. A rare artifact. One generic and tap. Put a charge counter on brain in a jar. Uh, then you may cast an instant or sorcery with the converted mana cost equal to the number of charge counters on brain in a jar, and from your hand without paying its mana cost. See what I'm doing there? Uh, remove and you can pay three and tap. Remove X charge counters from brain in the jar scry x <laughs> jar <laughs> jar binks yep i was thinking about that uh i like the art art's cool uh it's got some guy in the background i can't really see who he is uh probably a stitcher you know yeah kind of mm. reminds me of the philosophy thing right like we're all brains in a vat mm. right and you know and this then. might be very meta <laughs> Uh, but the uh, here's the thing. It's kind of trying to be Adaval. I'm playing an Adaval deck right now. Can't even yep. come close now. No, not even yep. close, man. Not even like, close. It's too slow for for the first you know first mm. thing off the bat. Like it costs two mana. Yeah, it should cost one mana. Adaval costs one mana. It's preventing you from casting. Casting Adaval prevents you from casting your one mana creature. Yes. So it should be. This should be one mana. And then you you know you, you don't tap it, but you have to pay that one to cast the one mana spell. That sounds fair. Yeah. Uh, and I I guess the problem with this is that it has to ramp up, like it has to keep going. Mm. Uh, and it doesn't say that you you yeah, know it's a me. It's yeah, a you, it's cast. a me, and you can cast the instant or sorcery at you know whenever you activate this. So you can cast sorcery at cards instant at instant speed. speed, which is awesome, which is good. But why is it wipes? It's cumulative. That means you cannot like put one charge counter, then you keep leaving it at, at one charge exactly. counter. Exactly. Yeah, yeah you, you have to keep going up. So what I don't like about it is that okay, what's cool about it is that you get to reset it. Yeah. But resetting it takes, takes an entire turn. turn. Like they shouldn't give you the ability to like it doesn't it shouldn't have that tap at the end. I, yeah. I'm guessing they tested this a hell it lot. Probably was too broken without that tap. Yeah, no, but really, it it should be broken because that's what you're trying to do, right? Uh, you know, not every deck is gonna run, uh, forty forty odd spells. spells. Yeah. Hmm. Come on, man. All right, let's uh move on to, uh, March the third, and we have a uh, hair of Falcon Ruff. Uh, she's a 2-1 vampire for 2 mana not bad uh, has this ability discard a card transform hair or falcon wrath activate this ability only once each turn so you can only act, uh, discard one card but uh, her uh, transform form is pretty good yeah. uh, also you can discard a card on your opponent's turn because it says once each turn oh yeah so you can I... get madness on your opponent's turn madness uh so yeah, you get a three two flyer on top mm. of that. Nice. Yeah, it's really quite good. strong. Yeah. Uh she reminds me of a uh, Cloistered Youth. Cloistered Youth was the yeah. two mana. And basically uh, next turn is gonna transform. 
I thought it reminded me more of Chosen of Markov. Chosen of Markov? Yeah. Because uh, you got flying to from that. Yeah, that's true. But uh, There's no way near as pretty as Chosen of Markov. True. Oh yeah, you were saying like Yeah, she's, I have a foil one. She's hot. She's hot. No nah, man. She was in the trailer. So hot. She looks like um she looks very pale, maybe. Yeah. And Chosen of Markov like starts off as a as a fleshy woman. Yeah. Uh this one already is like a some pale gothy. Bloody, yeah, already yeah. vampire ish. Yeah. It's just vampire to vampire berserker, right? Whereas yeah. Chosen of Markov was human to vampire. Yep. Uh, so we have Bygone Bishop It's a spirit cleric I did not realize Spirits also have jobs uh, <laughs> No but you have Spirit warrior And stuff like that Anyway it's flying When you cast a creature With converted mana Cost 3 or less Investigate Not bad Not bad at all really. I think it's Almost like uh, Mental the Meek uh, a bit yeah. slower Man right? it's so much slower So much dude. slower Mental the Meek Was like Mental the Meek also triggered on ETB. very large mm. characters yeah, and triggered yeah. on Enter the Battlefield. This, you have to cast. So it's okay, I guess. Uh, it helps refuel the um, white weenie decks. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Which is what we really need, yes. So we might actually see this uh, in... Uh, what's not, not in standard, in um, Soul Sisters. Because oh. Soul Sisters has that problem where you, know, you run out of gas really fast. Uh, so this might actually be an answer at three mana. It's okay, mm. I think, because everything else in your everything else in your deck is gonna be you know one mana, one mana creature and stuff. I like mean, that. if I was playing Soul Sisters, I would rather have gone for Moment of the Meek. Uh, yes, that's true. Yeah, okay, next. Same mana cost. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I am wrong. <laughs> I am wrong. I'm going home. Uh, next, pick the brain. Pick the brain. Target opponent. So for three mana, one black, two generic, sorcery speed. Target opponent reveals his or her hand. You choose a non-land card from it and exile Zah, that card. God. So, not bad. It's a uh, uh, Mind Rot. Uh, it doesn't even hit Mind Rot. Mind Rot is two cards. But it's got this Delirium effect. If there are four or more cards, card types among cards in your graveyard, uh, search that player's graveyard hand and library for... Any number of cards with the same name uh, as that broken, exile card. Broken. Uh, exile those cards and then that player shuffles his or her library. So sad. <sighs> uh, I don't know how easy it will be to, to, to get, get Delirium, delirium because right, we're yeah. losing all the fetch lands except for Evolving Wilds. But... And Warp Landscape. Uh, yeah, Warp Landscape's getting, a little yeah. slow. But yeah, Evolving Wilds is the the first turn. Like, okay, so the land's in there. Now, instant sorcery and uh, discard a creature, you know. Mm -hmm. Or you go uh, Tormenting tormenting Voice. So that's another two cards. And then instant speed and kill the guy with something. Pick the brain. (laughs) Pick the brain. I would have gone for some other card other than pick the brain for killing someone. Yeah. Uh okay mm. so on the march march the 4th uh let's save let's save that blue card for last we have uh incorrigible use this is the madness creature with haste not bad uh its mm. madness cost is 3 mana for 4 3 for 4 haste. 3 hasty you know what is good to do you go hair of falcon wrath on turn 2 or ravenous bloodseeker or ravenous bloodseeker uh, and then discard a card and uh, you know pay 3 mana go turn 3 drop a land discard a card pay the madness cost and you get a 4-3 with haste and a 3-2 with flying woo Ooh. 7 damage on turn 3 oh, so good it's also 3-1 if you use the ravenous blood seeker but with no flying yeah we know so flying. it seems like a very good backup plan not bad yeah uh, we have uh, Gerald's masterpiece uh, this kind of reminds me of that um, uh, that three mana card where you could cast it from your graveyard, but when you cast it, you have to exile a few cards. Skurz deck, Skurz deck, uh, no, Skurz. The, uh, that the one, two, the two mana, five, six, is that? No, 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 no three, three mana, three mana, five, five six. six, flying. Flying tremble or something, it's a mythic rare from the it's old. crazy, it was crazy, but Skark it was so hard. something, to... right? Scout uh, Renator. Scout Renator. Ah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember Edwin like going crazy on that. Like really, really crazy. Yeah. Uh that did not pan out very it well. It didn't really did work it? out, did it? Yeah. But this reminds me of that. 
a lot. Uh, so it's a five mana seven seven flying. Uh-huh. Okay, before you go crazy, Giraffe's masterpiece gets minus one minus one for each card in your hand. So it's probably never going to be a seven seven. Four four three three maybe. Yeah, but for four for five mana, it's it's okay. I mean, you if you're playing like the tempo deck. By the time you get to 5 mana, you probably only got like 1 or 2 cards in your hand. Yeah. So it's like a 5-5 five, five flyer for 5, which is not bad. The other ability is pretty good. Discard 3 cards. Uh, pay 1 blue and 3 generic. Return Giraffe's Masterpiece from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. And you can do this on your opponent's end step. Yeah, and it causes you to discard cards. So Madness, anyone? Madness. Yeah. Madness. Uh, the other card that we have here is also a mythic rare. It's Relentless Dead. I love this, by the way. I'm oh, I'm lukewarm. Going to go crazy. I'm people. lukewarm. Uh, it's a zombie black black for its casting cost. It's a two two. It has menace, so it beats. I guess it beats the vanilla test mm-hmm. already. Uh, it's got two abilities. When it dies, you may put you may pay one black if you do return it to its owner's hand. Relentless. And uh, when it dies, you may pay X. If you do, return another target zombie creature card with converted mana X uh, from your graveyard to the battlefield. You've got to pay exactly, exactly the <laughs> right amount. Yep. So This is why you learn algebra, kids. I think... But when you target zombie, that's the thing that I don't really like. Yeah, if it's another yeah, if creature, it's any, it'd be better. any other creature would be. Strong. No, man, that, that two mana guy that enters the battlefield and mills you for two. I forget what's that. The skunk, skunk zombie. One blue, one blue, one generic. Uh, enters the battlefield, you can um, you mill two cards from the top of your library. So you can keep going. You can keep recursing uh, this guy. You can keep bringing back two yes, more and more exactly. and more. Exactly. So, you know, uh, it dies, you block with that, it dies, uh, and then you block with uh, Relentless Dead, cast, you know, bring back Relentless Dead, bring back uh, that guy. Although I don't know how much you want to be doing that, because that's kind of Mm. uh, defeating the purpose. Yeah. Uh, And finally, on that day, we have this one, which is really cool. I thought it was so flavorful. You have Aberrant Researcher. Aberrant? Aberrant? Uh, Aberrant. Aberrant. Four mana, one blue, three generic. Human insect. It's it looks just flying. like Delver of Secrets. It is Delver. It's it the evolved form. It is Delver. No, it's not evolved form. It is Delver. It's, it's a three, two flyer. Oh, oh he gets oh. bigger. So you get it. Yeah, he gets bigger. So he doesn't lose everything. Like, he's still got his consciousness. Yeah. Uh, You know, the Delver of Secrets, you got insectile aberration, right? Yeah. Mm. yeah. So now this is the aberrant researcher. So this is the version of Delver or this is the universe where Delver didn't go or one of the researchers didn't go totally crazy. Well, you've got to remember when Everything came back, she, she muted the curse of the werewolf. So, so he might have, he turned, might have him back, yeah. turned him back into a slightly more rational being. Yeah, so now he's conducting research as the aberrant in- insectile. And it's the same Delver uh, trigger. For those of you who don't know, at the beginning of your upkeep, put the top card of your library into your graveyard. If it's an instant or sorcery, you know, it's slightly different. Yeah, slightly if different, it's an yeah. instant or sorcery card, transform aberrant researcher into the perfected form. You have not seen my final form. Uh, 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 uh. And he says right there in the, the, the flavor text, metamorphosis is a process. Yes. Yes. Excellent. Uh, everything is going as planned. Oh, all according friend. to plan. Uh, so yeah, it's a 5-4 flyer. Mm-hmm. Not bad. Pretty big. Uh, and this one looks badass. So yeah, it's so... Fl- I mean... Talk for, about... For 4-mana, I feel it should be bigger than a 5-4. For a 5-4 flyer? Yeah. No, for 4 mana, for a 3-2 flyer, it's okay, I guess. And it allows you to, you know, mail cards from the top of your library. I like that kind of, I like that kind of ability. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, if it's an instant of sorcery, sure, you're losing some gas, which kind of sucks. Uh, I don't quite like the card itself. Yeah. It's just okay. It's like, eh. eh. It's uh, just deck for the flavor. Yeah, but I love the flavor. Yeah, I love I the flavor. Love the flavor. Uh, okay, so we've got a whole bunch of cards ca- that come up on March 5th. Um, we'll talk about the elephant in the room last. Let's talk about Everson. So a few flip cards. Uh, the Everson Missionaries. Uh, it's a 3-3 three, three, uh, for 4 mana. 
at the beginning of your upkeep, if it's equipped, Equip. transform it. Yep. And in the transform form, it's a 4-4. Four, four. Uh, I like that the transform form is, uh, you know, the text is in white. It makes it so difficult to read. <laughs> um, when the creature transforms... Uh, when the creature transforms into Lunak Inquisitors, you may exile another target creature until Lunak Inquisitor leaves the battlefield. So if there's a way to transform it back... Oh, oh my goodness, it won't leave the battlefield. So you can keep going. And going, and going, and going. Oh yeah! Uh, but anyway, Lunak Inquisitors here means that um, it's probably referring to this card. So even in the uh, Everseen Missionaries, uh, if Everseen Missionaries, if it gets transformed back um, and it leaves the battlefield, the cards will come back. If I have to, I have to confirm this. Yeah. Missionaries. yeah. Okay. I have to confirm this. Uh, we also have Shard of Broken Glass. <laughs> equip creature for one mana. It's a equipment. Equip, equip creature gets plus one plus zero. Uh, what else does it do? Whenever equip creature attacks, you may put the top two cards of your library into the graveyard. Equip cost is one. Okay, e, not so wait, bad. Wait, wait, Can we just go back to just now that Luna Inquisitor? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure. Uh, you see, uh, we, we can um, exile because once it transform, right? Mm -hmm. There's a target. So you can target another creature. Maybe mm -hmm. you can use a displacer to blink it. No, once you, no. Once you blink it. No, you won't. It won't. It won't. Oh. Anymore. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. Okay. Uh, okay. So Shards of Broken Glass. Uh, here, Tamio's Journal. This one is yeah. a legendary artifact. Another legendary artifact. Actually, I, I, I quite like this color. If you if you think of it, uh, see, uh, usually when we pay about five mana uh, in black, we pay about five mana to search your library for a card and then put it in your hand. Mm -hmm. But this is an artifact that's also cost five mana and it's repeatable because there are a lot of ways to investigate. Yep. As long as you sacrifice three crews, uh, you can always find a li uh, search your library for a card and then put it in your hand. So yeah, I, I exactly. It's, so yeah. it's really... You lead it up to... You just, you just make clues, but you don't crack them. Yep. Yeah, and, and the then you, you cast the journal, Tamiyo's journal, boom. and you tap, and you sacrifice three, and you look for anything in your deck. Any card. Maybe Everson. Any card. Yeah, I'd go for Everson. Yeah. Oh, don't man. about you. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Everson. Uh, Archangel Everson. Uh, she looks okay. Pretty nice. I like the... I like her stance. Um... Flash, Flying Vigilance, when Archangel... Well, we talked about this on the show before uh, last week. When Archangel Everseen enters the battlefield, creatures you control gain indestructible until end of turn. Not bad. When a non-angel creature you control dies, transform Archangel Everseen in, uh, at the beginning of the next upkeep. So when she flips over, uh, the Everseen, the Purifier, it deals... 3 damage to each other creature and each opponent. So you've got about 1 turn to make your guys like uh, worth it and then yeah. But she wow that 5 mana to make your entire team indestructible with a 4-4 four, four flying With a Sarah uh, Angel on board. Yeah, yeah with a Sarah Angel on board. Yep. Like it's the same casting cost as a yep. Sarah Angel. Yes. yes. What? Uh, oh. what, what? What? Upgraded what? Sarah Angel. Hey, it's not bad. Uh, oh. Actually, it's not bad. Uh, when this, yeah, it it prevents your creatures from dying. Mm -hmm. But once one of your creatures die, like she gets pissed. But when she gets pissed, she's a six five flyer. That's insane, and she's already dealt three damage to each opponent and each creature. So you lose your army unless you flip her on the same turn that she came in. Mm. No, it's at the beginning of your next upkeep. Yeah, of the you, next you don't, upkeep. You don't flip ah, immediately. Darn. So yeah, you can't yeah. flip it immediately. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. Uh, of course, unless you flash in another Archangel ever seen. Once she transforms. Yeah. In response, flash in another Archangel. Or you just play a full deck with no nothing but angels. But why would you not want her to flip? Uh, I don't know. It's an amazing thing. <laughs> Six, <laughs> five, amazing thing. flying. She's got... And a boat to everybody's face. She's got blood everywhere. Yeah. Um, blood on your face. You big disgrace. <laughs> she she can be playing like Madu decks, I feel. Like black for the sacrifice, then red and white for the swing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Okay, another non spell. Angel, even an Eldrassi token would do. Yeah. Uh, last but not least, uh, you know, I wanted to end off with Everseen, but okay. Declaration in stone. One 
one white and one generic uh, sorcery exile target creature and all other creatures its controller controls with the same name as that creature that player investigates for each non-token creature exiled this way. Uh, well, it's a trade-off, I guess. It gets rid of, it gets rid of all the tokens for two mana, mm-hmm. yeah. uh, which is pretty damn good, mm-hmm. but your opponent gets to, you know, your opponent gets to investigate. Or you can create a lot of these little tokens. No, it doesn't work. It says a non-token creature exiled this way. Oh, okay. So you can kill tokens for fun, I mean, for free. Then your, oh, okay, just, yeah. your, just, your opponent won't get the investigation. He won't get anything. And it's really good. For yeah. two mana, you wipe out all tokens. Oh. Wipe out all zombies. Oh, man. Everything. It's a token killer. Yes. Yep. yes. Woo. But actually, if you think about the flavor for this, it's a Nahiri visiting Sorin's house and she uses he, her, her little mancer ability to, to wipe clear all the tokens. But if you think of it that way, right, she's kind of getting off Eldrazi tokens when she was back in DMC. <laughs> so she must be practiced in that. <laughs> the message was clear to Sorin. Nahiri had paid Markov Manor a visit. Lol. Oh, man. I still don't get why she's pissed at him. No, no, because she went, she activated the beacon and nobody came. Okay, she didn't know that Ugin was. No, Ugin wasn't, was it's still. Dead. It was dead. No, Ugin was not dead yet. Was he? Yeah, no, Ugin was dead. Dead. Ugin was dead. Yeah, but she activated the stone and Sorin didn't come. Why? What happened on the first the first time? Uh, so the first time was when they were about to get free, like they were wiggling, and uh, there was some guy who was uh, chipping away at the Aku Mountains. Sakan? Uh, mm. not Sakan, like the Anawan. Anawan, the, Anawan the, or the like the yeah, the the vampires. Like. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so she went there to like stop them. Uh, she activated the the eye of Ugin. Nobody came. She got pissed. She went there herself and like kick, you know, kick ass and chew bubble gum. So, <laughs> and she was all out of gum. Okay, so we're gonna stop here for now. Um, yeah, you guys, what do you what do you guys feel so far? How I, do you I guys think feel? we should be looking at the this one this one other spoiler card. Uh, which is one it one thing it? in the eyes? That one's also quite cool. No, the one with the, the thing in the eyes is quite cool. Yeah. The one with the flavor text. Ah, structural distortion. Can we talk about that? Structural distortion? It's not official. It's leaked, I believe. No, we don't talk about leaked shit. Ah. <laughs> no, but well, what is it? Um, exile target. So it's a uh, three mana, one red. Um, sorcery, exile target, artifact, or land. Structural distortion deals two damage to the permanence controller. It's, it's like um, demolish, except that you ping for two. And you exile instead of destroy. So what's the flavor text? The flavor text. As Zendika has bled, so will Innistrad. As I have wept, so will Sorin. Oh man, Nahiri is on oh. a rampage. Nahiri is going to be a red planeswalker, yo. So, I mean, you can read it two ways, right? One, Nahiri is the one who's going to bleed Innistrad, the way that Sorin did it to Zendika. Yep. Or she's just foreshadowing, right? It's coming. And she knows it's coming. <sighs> So she could either be like a, 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 a you know, a the messenger, a messenger of Emrakul. Cool. Or, or she could be the one doing all of this. Emrakul cool is coming. <laughs> the next set. I doubt it. Now, now. She's got the good now. Emrakul cool coming in. Everybody get to the job. Get Eldritch down. Moon. Get Eldritch down. Moon. <laughs> all right. So we're going to end the episode right here. Uh your guys' thoughts on everything in this trial. I'm I'm really excited. I want to mm. get four copies of Jace right now. Um, I mean, too late, like, man. You can't it's play anything expensive. without Jace anymore. It's too expensive. You can't play standard without Jace. Look, if you have madness, who's going to play a deck without Jace? Go on, uh, yeah. tell me. You'd have to play blue, though. Yeah, that would so, be easy. I feel you don't like have it. the try lands anymore. You don't have the fetch lands anymore. What but you going to do? But you still have the, 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 new, the new Tango lands. Oh, oh, gee, really? Oh, Tango okay. Lands go well with basic cool. lands. So yeah, they yeah. go well with basic lands, but your basic land, you got to go like, you know. You just, you just drop them like by luck. Like a rock. Yeah. Uh, okay, so, yeah. Okay, I mean, you, you'll be I'm, gone. I'm, I'm interested in the, like, the Planeswalker that is going to come out because usually in one block, they will have five. Oh, one yeah. block, usually have five. So in Does this it, set, they yeah. actually feature like Sorin, Nahiri. They talk about Sorin, Nahiri, and then they show faces of uh, Jace and the new... Carling, uh, so it's four, and, and Tamio, Tamio, correct. So I was thinking maybe this five. Oh yeah, mm. 
Uh, but I'm, be- I'm betting Nahiri is the next set and mm. uh, if Tamio does make an appearance he'll be in the next set mm. I'm hoping Ugin will be here mm-hmm. to like settle the dispute between Nahiri and Sorian like you two better hug and kiss and make up because I was dead yeah. so screw all of you <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, why is everybody shouting <laughs> why Stop I mean, shouting! Well, actually, actually Ugin, the funniest thing about it was that Ugin was pissed off. Uh, at Jace. At Jace. Right? Not just Jace, but Nisa and uh, Chandra as well. No, he was pissed off more at Jace. Like, you know, you shouldn't have done that. I gave you specific instructions to trap them, right? To trap the guys. Yeah. And then you went, you know, and told me, uh, you know, and did all this stuff. Oh, well. Whatever. Anyway, uh, so... You've been listening to the Power 9 podcast, Singapore's number one MTG podcast because there are no other podcasts. Uh, thank you for listening so far. Remember, you can find all our episodes on power9podcast.com. Uh, you can find us on mtgcast.com. You can also find us on iTunes. And if you're on iTunes, please leave us a review. That'll be nice. Um, yeah, we're trying, to, we're trying to get the word out. More people. So remember to share... Uh, the content uh, if you like it mm-hmm. if you don't just you know share it anyway it doesn't cost you anything uh, you can find us on YouTube as well so actually I think I'll in, put in the YouTube right here uh, you can find us on uh, where else Fe- Facebook 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 uh, Facebook.com slash Power9Podcast you can find us on Instagram at Power9Podcast and you can find us on Twitter at Power Nine Podcast, the nine is a number nine. Uh, so yeah, you can find us all those ways. Yeah, uh, yeah. So uh, okay, I will be away for yeah, national service. You'll be. So oh, in Thailand. And okay, so for those of back, you, yep. For those of you who don't know, <laughs> like we are Singaporeans and uh, Singaporean men, we have to serve this thing called national service, uh, where it's a conscription into the army. So uh, Wei Kiong will be away for. One month, no, no, no one three month, weeks. Uh, about less than three weeks. Uh, two, two and a half weeks. Two and a half weeks. Okay, so you're going to... Do you have internet while you're there? Uh, you better have. I, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get like SIM cards. I want to see the spoiler because the official yeah, yeah, spoiler exactly. is going to re- review like next week onwards. Exactly. Yeah. So you better, you, yeah. know, you better be prepared. And the thing is when I come back, it's that weekend is a pre-release. <laughs> do, you wanna, do you want us to help you buy a box? <laughs> uh, so far. Rah, 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 you, know, think, you know you want it, man. Yeah, yeah. You want, I want a box. I want a box. I want a foil I want a, I want a box and a fat pack. I'm greedy. And a fat pack. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> greedy much. Uh, so yeah. I like the card so far. Uh, it's it's going to be interesting. I yeah. like the flavor. Um, I want to see more angels. More angels. Gisela. Flame bait. Flame blade angel. That one looks good. Mm. All right. So yeah, next time, man. Yeah. Uh, until next time, for myself and Mikael and Wei Kiong, we're signing off. Bye bye. Ciao. Yeah, I, start, I started doing like weird impressions at the beginning of the show. Welcome to the, the Power 9 podcast. Looks like you've gotten stranger and stranger and stranger, mate. Yeah. Nobody listens to the show, so I get to do this all the time. You need a girlfriend. Yeah, I know. I'm so lonely.